The reality is that many people watch, you know what? You most likely already know that watching these immoral things is haram and considered a sin. But why do they still watch it? Many of them try and justify their actions with statements like, but I was only watching and not participating. You may not be participating in this unlawful act, but you are watching people commit fornication and adultery, both of which are major sins. Whatever actions we do, we are shaping our souls. So if watching these immoral things have reduced your lifespan, or in the hereafter has transformed your soul or deeds into a wild animal, don't blame anyone but yourself. You did this. A major reason why people watch it is to get some sort of pleasure. It usually starts with looking at something forbidden. Then you become curious and look even further. This is followed by thinking sinful thoughts and then, you know what happens, sinning of your body organs. In 2017 alone, according to statistics, a haram website would reach 28.5 billion visits, 1,000 visits a second or 78.1 million visits a day. That number jumped to 33.5 billion visits per site in 2018. These haram sites have evolved so much that even your little brother or sister can easily access it. But when it comes to research and awareness, there is very little foresight in preventing future harm. Research has shown that the more frequent viewing of this indecency, the more you become associated with lower satisfaction, loneliness and isolation. It also leads to great difficulties to form a stable satisfying relationship. Watching this indecency will destroy and shatter your sense of chastity, your purity and faith in Allah. It creates unnecessary excitement and leads to wicked thoughts and fantasies. It is unhealthy for the body and the soul. It decreases attraction towards marriage for those that are not married. And it decreases attraction towards your spouse for those that are married. And when it comes to prayer, your heart is so hard that you can't even share a teardrop from your eyes because of all of this indecency you have been watching. Many secular schools teach us that these things are natural and normal. To prove that it is natural, they give examples of some wild animals, like monkeys. Are we animals? They have degraded human beings to the level of these animals, and then justify their deeds by finding examples in the animal world. Just as the Quran says, they are like cattle, rather, they are more astray, they are the heedless ones. Islam doesn't believe this to be a natural or normal habit. It considers this to be an immoral and shameful habit that is forbidden. If you really want to stop, you really have to do something about it within yourself. Here are some tips that may help, but the real struggle is within you. If the fear of Allah is not that strong in you, stay in the company of good friends. At least you will fear them. Avoid being idle all the time. Have a hobby or take up physical sports, as this will channel your energy in healthy activities. Avoid eating excessive, especially junk food and processed food. According to studies, these foods can cause outbursts of desires. Avoid sleeping too much, especially when you are not sleepy. Fast more often, as this lowers the levels of desires. Avoid watching things that would further tempt you into sin and lower your gaze. If you are home alone and are tempted to sin, distract yourself and reflect. Go out for a walk or something. Seek counseling or speak to someone you trust. Keep in touch of your religion, read Quran, seek forgiveness, pray and read du'as.